Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another Cricket Chicken video. We have another Walking Dead discussion video I wanted to go over today. Today's topic, Jadis. Is it possible within the ones who live that she could have somewhat of a redemption arc, giving her character some sort of chance to make up for all of the shitty things that she has done? Because from the get-go, Jadis was very, very shady. We could not trust her. She proved on more than one occasion that she was out for herself or out for her little group because regardless of how she acted, she seemed that she cared about her garbage junkyard group up until the point that they got slaughtered because uh, she showed that uh, she did care for them. She was sad to see them get murdered the way they did. And so could it be possible within the ones who live during all her years in CRM during the time that Rick has been held captive, could she be the one responsible to possibly help him escape? Now, going back on Jadis, when we first met her, again, she was a part of the junkyard group. She was the leader. And from the beginning, we couldn't trust her. She seemed that she was a part of this group, but while they're all out scavenging or they're living in complete uh, just disarray or disgust, she had this cozy little bunker that was made up in a uh, shipping container. And she just, she made it real clear there for a long time that she was pretty much out for herself. Even when she made the alliance with Rick to go against Negan and the Sabres, she turned around, she stabbed him in the back, and went with what she believed was the better deal. And in the end, it just really kind of screwed her over, and that's what got her people killed. So just... Really, with this character, I want to say that there is the possibility that she could be redeemed, that she could make up for all the terrible things she's done, because she's always been kind of in and out. She's never been 100% in with Rick's group or 100% a bad person, but she just keeps making these decisions that kind of flows her in the direction that she is a shit person with no chance to make up for the things that she's done. But then you go back and you see after the events of All Out War and the couple of years that followed she was a part of that group she had formed a relationship with gabriel and then the chance to get back or get into the crm arose after the explosion that everybody thought killed rick she used rick as a bargaining ship to get into the crm knowing that he was an a but telling them that he was a b in order to protect him from going into the experiments that was uh colonel kublik and so this is something that was discussed in the world beyond between Colonel Kublik's daughter and Jadis during a fight scene. Because Colonel Kublik's daughter had come to realize what was going on behind the scenes with the CRM with her mother. So they're in this fight scene and we see that Jadis reveals that she kept Rick or, you know, this person re remained unnamed. But she kept him out of these experiments because she owed him that. So she does have some sort of respect for him and maybe on some level during his whole incarceration or captivity within the CRM, she is on some level maybe protecting him, even though it would not look like it from the outside. Because we don't know officially the status of Rick's living situation within the CRM, other than that he's probably in a culling facility, much like Silas was in the world beyond, taking care of walkers, rounding them up, and putting them out. So probably that they're not going to be a problem for the main part of the CRM because I want to say more than likely the culling facilities are probably strategically placed within the outskirts of the main part of the CRM to draw them in to kill them to keep them from even getting close to the CRM and posing any kind of threat so she's probably in some way keeping him safe by keeping him at these facilities not really letting them see what value he could be but that may have been tripped up along the way because we see that when he escapes they go through hell to get him back so it's hard to say how much she's revealed how much he's revealed in the sense of what he knows how capable he is and the things that he's willing to do to survive or the things that he's willing to do to get home so with that possibility in there, I want to say maybe there's a 50-50 chance she could actually redeem herself as far as helping Rick escape the CRM. Now, here's something also that I really want to see within this series, and this could be kind of a team effort, is the return of Silas. Because I think if they don't bring him back, 
after setting up him being a part of the CRM military, it would be a huge missed opportunity. Yes, I know there was a lot of mixed reviews as far as World Beyond goes. A lot of people didn't like some of those characters. Hell, I didn't like some of those characters. I thought they were fucking annoying. Silas, on the other hand, he had that whole silent but strong thing going for him and misunderstood and this and that. And he goes into the CRM kind of almost as a spy because he gives himself up to let his friends get away. And uh, I think Jadis might see this a little bit too. She sees maybe a little of herself in him, seeing that he could play both sides of the fence, getting in there, get, getting information, working his way up the ranks just like she has. But she's kind of been more mischievous about it too. She's kind of really screwed people over. She's gotten people killed. She, I don't know, she, uh, she could be... 100% total piece of shit person, but she could have, you know, some hint or some hope that she could be redeemed and actually put someone else before herself, but that's, uh, it's just really uncertain at this time, but I want to say that if they did go that direction, it would make me like that character a whole lot more for one, and it would probably make a lot of people feel differently about her, even though you know, the most awful of people can make up for horrible past. You know, Negan being a prime example, being the awful, terrible person that he was, taking pleasure in beating people to death and putting his boot on people's neck, holding people, holding things over people's heads to keep these communities in line to the person he is now. Yes, he's kind of a broken shell of who he was, but it was for the best. So he could realize that he doesn't need to be that person. And some of what he did was wrong. And he understands that now. But we could, we'll could we see probably some of that come to a head within the Season 2 of Dead City. Whenever that comes out. Because there's the possibility that we might not get it this year. But with Jadis, I just want to say that there, I think there is the at least the slim chance that we could see her. Maybe even team up with Silas. Again, missed opportunity if they don't go that direction. Because I think that his character could have a lot more depth and development. To see them possibly team up to assist Rick to get him out of there. Maybe even if there's something in it for her. Where he promises to take out uh, Major General Beale. Because we know that he is the he's the head of the whole CRM military, or at least that's how it's being presented, where he could help her kill him, therefore putting her in charge, and she uses this new position of power to exile him, not really exile him, but to assist him at getting his freedom with no repercussions coming his way, where he could go back home and she would just make up the lie or just tell everyone hey he's dead he tried to escape i had to kill him whatever and i just think that that is possibly the best way they could go about him getting out or maybe i'm completely wrong and it will all come to a head and rick will just flat out kill this woman to get out it's just there's i think a few different directions they could go as far as rick securing his freedom and uh i think that it would also be kind of cool to maybe Rick gets out, Silas does happen to show up, and Silas goes with him to back to the Commonwealth, back to Alexandria. Uh, whatever happens is just, it's really uncertain at this point, but I think there's just a lot of different directions they could go, a lot of different possibilities for this series to maybe not so much wrap up this story, but to progress it to the next stage, whereas we're possibly going to see everything come to a head, come to a close within the new crossover series that we're supposed to get. So anyways, that was just my discussion, my thoughts about it, the possibilities for the show, the possibilities for the future of the show. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, leave comments, and of course, if you feel so inclined, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.